Hey y'all, today we're making a Creole and Cajun classic, Redfish Coubillon, so let's get started. First, we need to peel and devein some fresh Gulf shrimp. I usually clean the shrimp at the sink, but that way it's not good for showing you how to clean. So let's start by removing the heads. You want to separate the head at the base of the joint where the head meets the body. The bend between the head and body is very clear. Just puncture, twist, and pull. I always buy head-on shrimp and save the heads and shells for making stock. Next, get a pair of scissors. Place the lower blade of your scissors about 1 8 inch into the body of the flesh, and the top blade follows the curve of the spine. Cut all the way to the three tail swimmerettes. This makes an opening large enough to remove the intestinal tract, but not so large that the shrimp are butterfly. Now this dish takes about one and a half pounds of shrimp. This is 12 to 14 count per pound, so they're pretty good sized shrimp. Next, we peel the shells from the body, starting from the head end. When we get to the tail, crack the three tail swimmerettes to release the suction. I just pinch each swimmerette. Then you can pull the swimmerettes off and you have an intact tail. Now it's time to remove the intestinal tract. Open the flesh along the cut in the spine that you made with your scissors. The intestinal tract should be readily visible. It will be a black vein that runs from head to tail. Once the flesh is separated, use your fingers to remove the vein. When I do this at the sink, I run a stream of water to assist with removal. You can also use a knife to help with removal of the vein if you need to, and make sure to get the track down by the tail. You may need to use your knife to open the flesh a bit more. Fresh shrimp eat well in the wild, so it's unusual for a fresh shrimp to have an empty intestinal tract. But even if the tract is empty, you still need to remove it. And once all the shrimp are peeled and deveined, give them a final rinse and season with some Creole seasoning. We're using Mrs. Clotilde Certified Creole Seasoning. This is a low salt, all purpose seasoning. Then you want to cover the bowl with plastic wrap and refrigerate until ready to use. We also want to season the redfish fillets with some Creole seasoning. These fillets have been cut into roughly three inch by three inch portion sizes. Then we want to cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate these also until we're ready to use. Now, this is two Louisiana redfish. You can tell by the circle spot on the tail. The redfish need to be big enough to get about two pounds of filet out of them. Tell the fishmonger you want the fish filleted with the skin intact. You also want the head, skeleton, and tail intact and attached. Ask the monger to cut the filet into three by three inch portions. Now before cooking, make sure to check the fillets for any straggler bones around the edges or any scales on the skin, and you want to remove those. Now let's make some stock. We want to put the redfish skeletons, the shrimp heads, and the shrimp shells into a large Dutch oven. Then we're going to add some yellow onion, bell pepper, celery, some garlic, some fresh thyme, and you can leave the thyme on the stem, some bay leaf, and some fresh parsley. Add a bit of Creole seasoning, some table salt, and about 10 cups of spring water. This is a quick stock, so wrap it simmer for one and a half 
to two hours uncovered until the stock is reduced by half. You can see the stock reduction line. And then you want to allow the stock to cool and strain well using cheesecloth. We don't want any bones in our coulion. So to start the coulion, we're going to melt some butter over medium heat. Once the butter begins to bubble, we're going to add some diced yellow onion. some diced bell pepper, a bit of diced celery, and we're gonna season with some Creole seasoning. No you seasoning. Mrs. Clotilde's is a low salt, all purpose seasoning. So if you want a particular herb or spice to break through, you may need to add a bit of that spice. So I'm adding a bit of table salt and a bit more black pepper. You wanna allow to saute until your veggies begin to wilt and release their water. Then you add some minced garlic, and a seeded serrano pepper until aromatic. And that should take about 30 to 60 seconds. Then you wanna add some all-purpose flour and allow the flour to cook just until it begins to brown. Be mindful of the fire. If you burn your flour, you need to start over. Then you wanna add the redfish stock and stir to deglaze. Classic Cubion is tomato based. So we add some tomato paste, not sauce, tomato paste. And then we mix in some diced fresh tomato and any juice from the tomatoes. Ingredients, measurements, and links to seasoning are in the description box. a bit of Worcestershire sauce, some fresh thyme leaves, and some bay leaf. Start to combine, cover, and simmer for at least one and a half to two hours. You want most of the veggies to be broken down. You don't want the tomatoes to scorch, so remember to stir intermittently. Some folks like a smooth coubillon, which will take about a three hour simmer. It's your preference. About 20 minutes before the coubillon reaches the consistency you like, mix in a bit of sugar and some fresh parsley. Don't forget to remove any bay leaves or thyme stems. To finish the coubillon, add your shrimp first. I like to lay my shrimp so that the fish fillets can sit atop and poach without falling to pieces. Then carefully add the fish, skin side down. Cover and cook a final 20 minutes. As you can see, you have a nice rich stew with intact red fish that is poached to perfection. And there you have it, classic red fish coubillon. Eat with or without rice and always with a side of buttered and toasted French bread for sopping up the stew. If you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as a part of our Creole and Cajun cooking community. Give this good lover from the oven Creole Cajun Red Fish Coubillon a try.
Say C bon. And remember, when you mix a little bit of Creole with a little bit of Cajun, that's good eating. See y'all next time.